हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे इज़ अ डे थर्टीन ऑफ जून लिट कोडिंग चैलेंज एंड दी प्रॉब्लम इज लार्जेस्ट डिविजिबल सबसेट सो लेट्स इट दी प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दी गिवन एग्जाम्पल सो गिव इन इज सेट ऑफ डिस्टिंग पॉजिटिव इंटीजर फाइन दी लार्जेस्ट सबसेट सच दैट एवरी पेयर एस आई एन एस जे ऑफ एलिमेंट इज इन दी सबसेट सेटिस्फाई दिस प्रॉपर्टी वेयर एस आई मॉडुलो एस जे इज जीरो और एस जे मॉडुलो एस आई जीरो सो एनी वन शुड फॉलो and if there are multiple solution written any subset is fine so in example when we have three number 1 2 3 if we do modulo 2 with 1 is 0 if we do modulo 3 with 1 is 0 if we do try to do modulo 3 with 2 is not 0 so we can take at max two elements as a subset so it is either 1 or 2 or we can also return 1 or 3 so this is the answer for it in example do we have 1 2 3 4 so here we can so this all four number are 2 to the power 0 1 2 3 accordingly so each number can be divide the modulo let's say like this 4 uh, modulo 8 like 8 modulo 4 0 two mod 4 modulo 2 is 0 and 2 modulo 1 is 0 so all four can be the part of answer so this is the answer we written let me explain you few important thing here we need to use so let's we have three number in a is 2 and v and v is 4 from the example 2 i am trying to explain you and this is c is 8 so here what we can say c modulo b is 0 correct and b modulo a is 0 so with these two conditions so this should be modulo here so with these two condition we can say so modulo support the property called associativity so this property this both of them will implies us like c modulo a is also zero so this property is called associativity and the number is in a increasing order so if number is increasing we can we don't have to check for c modulo a if we already check with c modulo b and b modulo a in the increasing order so this is a very key idea here we will gonna use in this uh, solution so let i have draw one custom example here like in our array we have 1 4 5 8 12 and 9 so for using this associativity property we will sort the number and there is another reason of sorting these numbers first because if we are doing for let's say some number i if we are checking for some number this i we know all the number before this is j all the jth index are less than this i nums of i so if this is less than so we can easily check with the all the number we so here let me take another array where i can store the counts of the modulo how many numbers max number in a subset so initially like each individual element is also a subset so this is a subset 1 subset 4 is independent subset like these all are independent subset so we will initialize this array with one so every element with subset ending here all the index is with initialize one now after that we will go through this using the dynamic programming approach so if we check for this this is already one there is no left side in it if we are checking for four so for this number what we will do for four we will check with the all the previous number like how many numbers this four is uh like divisible so if we check with one so like here so if so if i check here let me draw the step if 4 modulo 1 is 0 or not yes 4 modulo 1 is 0 so what we can take so this will be 0 so this is 0 then we can check the count of 4 basically at index 1 so this is at index 1 is equal to max of count of this uh, itself and the count of 0 plus 1 because we are adding 4 in that so this is will be this will be max of 1 comma 1 plus 1 so which is 2 so here the value of count 2 similarly we will check for 5 so for 5 if we check with first 4 so here let me show you this as well so 5 mod 4 if is 5 mod 4 is 0 no so 5 mod 4 is not 0 so it's let me put like this it's not 0 mm. so here the count of this will be 
we cannot consider this in the increment so, so we will continue go to the down then we will check with 5 mod 1 is it 0 yes it is 0 then we will again do the same step this what we did for the 4 so the same step here we will do for 4 5 so 5 is at index 2 so this value is 2 and we got at 0 and 0 1 plus 1 again the for 5 also we got similarly we will get for these other number here 3 is divisible with 4 and 1 then it is 3 and the 9 is not divisible with 5 and 4 and 8 so it divisible by directly 1 so it's 2 and the 12 12 will divisible by either 4 or so 1 4 12 so yeah there is length 3 so this is after the we check the all the array so now once we done with counting the maximum ending at all the index so this is like we will look for the where is the max max uh, max value of the subset count subset so here like one is this another is so we can pick any one so here let's pick this guy so once we got this we, we have to construct the subset get all the subset value what we can do so for getting this once we know the index so we will take the index uh, which is has max so let it call it max index and we will take this max index we will get from 8 it is 3 so once we got this what we have to check so total 3 element in our subset which will be the max subsets and satisfying the given property so first we take this and then current count we will count the value like start taking the the count of max index here so this will be 3 so for this we have to go back like from which 4 is came last so we will check the modulo again with this backward direction so with 4 we are getting this then we will add first 8 and after that 4 and then we will take 4 is coming from this so it is 1 so this is our answer subset of 8 4 1 another we if we can we can construct that as well but we have to return any one so that's fine so let's start the implementation implementation is like now i is very easy so first we will get the length of the array which will be nums dot length which is if we will check if there is no value in the array so we just simply return the new list new array list so this is the first step second we have to sort the this is a, our step one so let me write me step one so we will sort the array sort okay so once i sort so i will use the arrays dot sort and simply sort the nums i sorted this now we need to store the we need the count array to store the max ending at each index let's me take a count array and which is of again the size of the array which is n and then we will do the step 1 or step 2 now arrays dot fill with 1 because each individual element is a subset of length 1 so here i need to fill count with value 1 so this is done now after that we will iterate through for int i is equal to 1 and i less than n and i plus for each element we will iterate through and then we will check the previous element how many previous element are dividing that element so j start from i minus 1 and j should be greater than n equal to 0 and j minus minus so if nums of i modulo nums of j is equals to 0 in that case we will update our count of i which is math dot max of count of i comma count of j j plus we are including the ith element so one so this is this will help us to get the so this is whole together you can say step two of dp generating the step two of this solution like uh, generating calculating all subset generating dp generating count dp for all the index array. now the third step is so the third step is we have to get the where is the max index so max index from the our count array so here for max index int it is max index which is at 0 let's say then we will run through the loop for int i is equal to 1 and i less than n i plus plus then we will check max index will be 
इज इक्वल टू इफ काउंट ऑफ आई इज ग्रेटर देन काउंट ऑफ मैक्स इंडेक्स इंडेक्स इन दैट केस वी विल अपडेट मैक्स इंडेक्स विद आई अदरवाइज वी विल कीप मैक्स इंडेक्स एज इट इज सो दिस विल गेट अस मैक्स इंडेक्स नाउ द थर्ड स्टेप फोर्थ स्टेप इज कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस सबसेट स्टेप फोर इज Construct the subset. Construct the longer, la, la, longest subset. Longest subset. Okay. So for this, we need first list because we have to return. So we will create a list integer, which is name called result from the array list implementation in the Java library. And after that, we will take a temporary the value at that max index. So nums of max index. Once we got that, and we will take the Current count of how many max number of uh, element in our max subset, so which is current of max index, correct? So now we have to iterate through from down the loop from int i is equal to from max index, and it should be greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus. Once we go down, then we have to check if Temp, our current temp is divisible by module like nums of the current i which we are looking for is equals to zero, and the current count is also equals to the uh, count of i, the the value we are looking for. Once we got this particular element, so we will update the temp. First, we will add the current number in the List so this will be nums dot at nums of i result dot at nums of i. Then after that we will update our temp. Temp will be nums of i. Uh, this is sorry. This will be nums of i. Once we we got this, then after that we will current uh, decrease the count because we are already picked that current value. So continuously this will run for uh, total max index times and we will pick the current uh, count. Uh, In our subset, once we got in the values in our subset, we will return the result. So this is the whole implementation using the four steps. Step one, sort this. Step two, generate the generating the count dp, and then step three, in max found the max index. Once we got the max index, we will construct the longest subset. Let's try to compile our code. Oh, oh, uh, current it should be count. Sorry, I mistakenly uh, use here current. it should be count because i am using defined as a count everywhere and here i use this this should be okay other than that i guess it's fine yes it's fine so let's try to compile it yeah it's got compiled and we got the correct answer so it can accept in any order so let's test our the test i example test case i explained you with that help let's me try to test that in the custom test case so we have array 1 4 5 8 12 9 so let's see whether we are getting either 18 148 or 1 4 12 yeah the we are getting that so that's correct let's submit our code and it is accepted so this is the simple solution let's Check the time complexity and the space complexity. So here we are doing n log n, n log n steps in sorting. But we are running this loop two times, so this will be uh, n square. And also after that we are is max is n square. So and the space we are using this array count array. So it is so total here time complexity is o of n log n. Oh sorry n square. And the space complexity is O of n. Thank you. If you like my solution, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share with among your friends so that everyone get help.